what's going on lunch breakers and takers do us a favor real quick and hit the like and subscribe button also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos and uh let's get into it canelo alvarez parts ways with golden boy promotions yeah and the zone after signing uh two years after signing the biggest contract in sports history that uh, was a five-year 386 million dollar deal uh he got about I think they said $80 million out of it, and then and, and it all fell apart. Yeah. So basically what happened was DAZN decided they don't want to pay Canelo his his money anymore, right? They, they're using a clause of – or they use a clause because he's not with them anymore – of him getting paid for premier fights. And they're determining premier fights as you know a rematch with Mayweather, which is really out of their control. Mm -hmm. a rematch with triple g even though they fought twice already all right and canelo's camp isn't really that interested in, in those fights anymore they want to do other fights like caleb plant yeah you can go after Cal callum smith callum smith uh, the charlos you know i mean there, there's there's there are fighters out there for him just no fighters that DAZN was interested in paying for right and i can understand you know the business side of it is look you know we're trying to recoup some money it's a down year for everybody and mm -hmm. maybe some of those names aren't really big enough names well they don't think it's going to be big enough names to really be worth their time but it is what it is right the the names that you that you want to put out there maybe triple g is the only one that you could get done if canelo says yeah i'm interested in, in a part three but mayweather yeah. is completely out of your control right that's right. completely up to mayweather and it's going to be on his terms if you do it yeah, he's a retired fighter, and yeah. there's no reason for him to take that fight, really. No, not at all. Not at all. So, yeah, even if he did a Triple G fight, what's next? Like, Callum, you got Callum Smith and Kill mm -hmm. Plan, right? Those are the next fights you're going to have to do anyway, or one of the Charlo brothers. So, yeah, what, what really happened, and, and, you know, we talked about this the moment he signed that contract, is you signed him to do too big of a contract. You can't make your money back and you regret it. You know, when, when they signed Canelo, I said, man, DAZN's going to be out of business before that contract's up. Yeah. Because, you know, they're, they're paying out tons of money. And I didn't think they would be able to to earn that back, you know, with subscribers. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know how they're, they're doing right now. But obviously, they, like you said, they, they looked at Canelo and they said it's just not worth it anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's exactly what happened. And look, Oscar De La Hoya got screwed, basically, because... That was his golden cow, right? That's yeah. his moneymaker. And really, it's not on Golden Boy. I, I don't think. I don't think it's really his fault that this all played out. It's just it's his own decided they didn't want to pay it. And Canel ends up suing Golden Boy because Golden Boy is the one that had a contract with the zone. Yeah. Right. Uh Canelo didn't have a direct contract with the zone. So it's a matter of getting his money from Golden Boy. Golden Boy's not getting their money from the zone. Right. And if you guys, you know, look, if I'm wrong, correct me. But that's, you know, from what I understand, that's how it worked. So Canelo had to sue Golden Boy to get out of the contract. So now he's a free agent. Yeah. So the question is, where does he go from here? Yeah, I mean, I think you're going to see him at top rank. That's that's what I think is going to end. I mean, they're with ESPN. They, they, they're they cruising right along, right? They've got a lot of fighters. They've got yeah. ESPN Plus to, to put on all their fights and everything. Like, it's a, it's a nice setup there. You got a bigger audience. I think he'll end up with top rank. I don't know, man. Uh, Al Heyman might swoop in, and uh, he might end up at PPC. That would be real interesting. Yeah. yeah. Like, you got to think about it. Who is there for him to fight over at top rank? Well, I think, you know, it, it's that, that that's part of the problem with the state of boxing, right? Like you, you're going to have to work with someone else to make these super fights. Really. Yeah. Um, but the problem is Al Heyman and, and Bob Arum – don't work together, right? That's why we're yeah. not seeing some of the fights that we should see. Like, Bud Crawford's not fighting anybody. That's part of the problem that Bud Crawford has with Bob Arum right now in top rank is that they can't get any of these fights done. Right. right? Yeah. You know, all those fighters that he needs to fight are with PBC. You know? Yeah, but I, I think it's one of those things that eventually they'll get them done. They're just not happening as quickly as, as I mean, anybody would like. But eventually right. they'll, 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 they'll work it out. You know, I mean, Mayweather... Had a had a huge problem with Bob Harum too, but eventually they got the Pacquiao fight done. Right? Yeah, that's true. You know, it like I said, it'll just take longer than than anybody wants it to, or it needs to. But eventually they'll 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 get Canelo in there with 
whoever they want him in there with, really. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree.